Hello, today I'm just going to go over some of the molds that I have made over the holidays and show you what happened. I tried a couple of different tin cures making some masters from printed resin. This is from the Soraya Tech ABS-like mixed with a little bit of um, Tenacious. And these are what I used for all of the molds. I tried using this uh, beveled system that I had seen to try and maybe make it a little bit better and stronger at the points where mine are the flat edges, where the flat edges are, to try and make it so that maybe it would be a little bit more durable. But uh, I did not find that to be the case. So for me, this didn't really work all that well. It might work better with sharp edged dice, but I'll go into that right now. So that was the first type of mold I made, and I used this Umu 25, which is a 25 shore hardness, and typically when I use tin cure silicones, they're a bit more fragile, and they break more. So usually what I've done in the past when I use tin cure is I will make a mold, cut them halfway down because they tend to rip if I don't, and then I'll make some masters from those and then use the epoxy resin dice that I make from those as the new masters with platinum silicone. But it's easier to just go from your tin cure and just use that uh, from what I found. So using this, I tried using that system and there's a couple of difficulties <clears throat> with doing this and that's getting it to stick to this. I used resin because I wanted the edges to be smoother and I tried using double-sided tape that didn't really work very well and so then I started using a tiny bit of tack putty and that worked okay the only bad thing about this in particular is no matter what you use to stick it on there and to hold it in place it's gonna leave that much of a layer of uh, a top on it so for me it's still more efficient and better to use just straight piece of tape stick it directly on the tape it's the same uh, thickness of layer across all the dice but that's what I did with this and I made some molds again probably work better with sharp edge dice but it did okay other than as expected, it did rip because it's a little bit more, um, not quite as durable as like the 10 and the dragon skin, which I really like. But that's platinum silicone, which I haven't had too many issues going straight from uh, the Soriatech ABS like using a platinum silicone like, like that. But it could pose issues for. Uh, several reasons but typically you want to use tin cure for anything that you 3d print with photopolymer resin now I'll show you what happened with this oddly when I made some dice out of that they never actually cured right they're very sticky still and it's been a few weeks right since I've done this but also <clears throat> If you can see the little raised lip on it from the tiny space I had having to put uh, some tack putty on it, and that you'd get that same thing even with a thin layer of tape. It's not too bad. On sharp edge dice, you probably won't notice it, but on mine with the flat edges, if it'll focus with the flat edges, it's it's difficult to get out, and then you have lines across all those edges. So for me and my style of dice, it <clears throat> doesn't work that great. I'll probably actually just get lazy and start doing sharp edge dice. Um, so there's that. I did that with these and the minis as well. The minis, of course, significantly harder to get on there correctly. A little bit more difficult. So I thought maybe there was something wrong with my resin mixture. I tried it again same thing still really sticky 
So I tried it again. And this time I put part of it in these in this mold and then another little bit in a older platinum mold that I had. This is dragon skin. And it was the same mixture. This came out cured just fine. Normal. The other stuff still sticky. I don't know. I might try that later after it has sit open for a while. So I'll have to try that again and see if that had anything to do with it. I highly doubt it, but who knows. These other ones are just the ones that I did straight on the tape that are much better for my style of dice. There's no well, it's not raised as much on the tops, and so that works a lot better for at least the flat-edged dice that I use. Now, what I really want to talk about is what I'm probably going to start doing now from now on, like I say, instead of trying to do two different ones or have cure inhibition and all that worried about, you could just use your tin cure, and I found some... Uh, some 10 shore hardness stuff, but I got this, uh, it's the Mold Max 10. And it's uh, 1 by 10, or they say 10 by 100, but I mean, I don't know why they didn't convert that. Uh, so you have to do this stuff by weight. But it works really well, because it's closer to the dragon skin in that it is a lot stretchier, a lot more durable. And I did a couple of different things, because when I do my masters, I don't want to mess up my masters in any way. I don't want to have to touch them with a craft knife and put edges in them and have to sand it off again or have bits of glue on it that come off. So anyway, I did it a couple different ways. I did some as the cap molds. And this stuff is just really, really good. I like it for platinum silicone. I could just use this for, or for tin, tin cure silicone. I could just use this for everything. It's very durable, very stretchy, nothing ripped when it came out. And those came out really well, no issues. So trying to not make, and the good thing about this is, is you just put the, your original on some tape. That's it. It just has tape on it. So you can just wash it off. It's not going to scratch up or mar your originals. So then I thought, since I have to basically do sprue molds so that it will leave good edges on it, I redid my cups. And I added flashing lines in it already so I don't have to cut it with a craft knife. It's already there. So my theory was that if I take these I could stick a little bit of tack putty right on the on the sprue there and that this already in place flashing would hold the dice in place and I wouldn't have to glue it or or do anything like that. Didn't quite work that way. They kept falling over. I did end up having to use a little bit of glue to get them to go in that. Um, and then later, as you can see, when I pulled them off, it broke. Uh, piece of the plastic off with it because this is really thin. That was as thin as I could print it. They actually came out really well as far as the molds themselves. I didn't have to cut the dice out. It already had the the lines in it and then I just used a craft knife to cut the rest of the way across the edge. Very durable and that only puts the flashing on the one side or edge. It's already there, but you can just rip it off just like you would normal flashing. And then you just have to sand that one face and you're done. So that's great. The only problem is didn't quite make it so that my masters were unscathed in that there's the bits of glue and plastic on them. Now I could probably use some of the glue dissolvent stuff and, and remove it that way and in that case I would do no damage to it but um, typically I would just chip that off and then just resand it again 
which isn't ideal because after doing it several times, which is why I had to remake these molds after reusing the same master several times and having to sand that same face several times, the one gets loses its depth because the one is the side that I use that for. But um, if you are subscribed to my Patreon or on my coffee or Ko-Fi is what I call it because I don't say Wi-Fi, I say Wi-Fi. Um, if you're signed up on those, these are available um, in my shared files. If you wanted to try those and see if those work for you. For me, it worked really well. Surprisingly easy, even on the, on the minis. Uh, a little bit more difficult to try not to get it to go across the numbers. But the molds themselves worked really well. So I hope that that can be helpful for you. So maybe you can use some of this Mold Max 10 when you do your master molds. Well, feel free to give me the thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe. And go ahead and go make some molds so you can make a bunch more dice.